Warning, this video contains a lot of flashing and banging. If you don't like those things, then get out. Flash bangs are simpler than you might expect. The angles are not smooth gradients, but there are rather four amounts that you can be flashed by, angle-wise at least. Take this pie chart. Imagine you're above your player, looking down, and he's facing towards the top of the screen. If a flashbang goes off within these red angles, he gets fully flashed. I'll call this level four. The orange angles are slightly less flashy, level three. The yellow areas are not very flashed at all, level two, and the green is a quick flash, and then it's gone almost immediately. Level one. Let me show you some examples. I did this in a black box, in memory of the Half-Life bundle we never got. In these examples, the flashbang is going off at a distance of 256 units, about four crates widths. I'll now talk you through the four levels of flash you can encounter. Level four, total flash. This is what happens if it explodes right in front of you, a worst case scenario. This will leave you completely flashed for almost two seconds and will drop below 50% within three. Level three flash. On a 16 by nine monitor, this is one that explodes at or just beyond the edges of your screen. At this angle and distance, you'll experience half a second of full flash and takes just over a second to drop below 50%. Level two flash. This happens halfway between the best and worst directions that you could be looking. After the initial flash, it immediately drops below 50%, then takes two seconds to go completely. Level one's when it goes off behind you. It's a bit like the level two one, but disappears completely in under a second. Now I want to clarify what I mean by disappears completely, because you will think it's gone before it's completely faded. You see, if viewed on a black map, like this one, you can see it levels out to what you think would be fully faded. Then when you least expect it, it suddenly pops further, vanishing completely. Here's the effect amplified so that you can see what I mean on YouTube video quality. I still measured to this pop because it's a nice way of comparing different degrees of flash accurately, but you'll probably find the fully flashed and half flashed amounts more important for actual gameplay. Speaking of actual gameplay, let's take a look at this very possible situation. Imagine this guy's face is a flashbang, about to explode. This is what the flash would be like if staring directly at him. Ah, uh, let's see what we can do about it. If you look here, you'll drop to a level three flash. Still bad. This here is level two, not a lot of flash at all. And if you have a high enough sensitivity, then level one is within reach by looking around to here. And then some just to make sure. Of course, this is all just turning around on the spot. I tested vertically as well. So instead of going off to the left or right of you, they're now instead going off above or below you. And guess what? The cutoffs are exactly the same as it is horizontally. Well, maybe one or two degrees different, but shh. The audio effect is the same regardless of where you're looking. Two seconds of annoying ringing, though it shouldn't do too much to hinder your epic skills. Time to bust some myths. Scoping doesn't change things at all. Your screen's aspect ratio won't change things either. In theory, you could have a full 360 degree display and be able to see flashbangs going off behind you without going blind. And lastly, here is how it changes at varying distances. Interestingly, everything that matters goes down linear, li 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 linearly, linearly, goes down linearly. Time to see what this all means. Now, when I say zero distance here, I mean if you drop a grenade and then crouch down to get a really good look at it. Don't try this at home. You're talking over two seconds of full flash, over three before it drops to 50% flash, and over five before it goes completely. It looks as though 1,300 units is the cutoff for full flash. Beyond this, you'll probably still be able to see throughout the bang. Half a flash is also quite useful to know. It should be gone by 1,800 units, but you might notice it trails off for a bit longer. It's at this point that it stops representing the moment the flash has faded to 50% transparency and is instead representing the first flash, which only lasts for a frame or so. Flashbangs are fairly harmless at these ranges. No one cares about the end of the flash effect since you can see fine before this point. And just so you know, here is a flashbang from a distance of 4,000 units. Wow. Onto the sound. The audio lasts for two seconds until you're over 3,000 units away at which point I assume it plummets to zero, like this. But even before this point, it's getting quiet enough not to matter, like so. 
Still takes two seconds before it returns to silence though, so maybe it would have been more useful to have measured the decibels instead. But who even cares? What you might like to know is that the ringing that accompanies the flashbang stops a lot sooner than 3000 units away. It's actually somewhere between 768 and 1024 units. Beyond this, all you hear is just a distant bang sound, which you probably care even less about. But even at close distances, you'll be more concerned about the flash than the bang anyway. And that's flashbangs for you. I have been contacted by mysterious, powerful people who told me that most people don't follow a channel unless told to, and that I should tell you guys to subscribe to me.